If you really think that just by adding TypeScript, you have removed all the bad behavior of JavaScript, that is not the case, my friend. There are some still odd behaviors, even in TypeScript. Maybe in the future version, they will go away, but still, we have a lot of misbehaves of JavaScript still existing in TypeScript. I'll show you one here. Hey there, everyone. Hitesh here, back again with another video. And let's uh, go ahead and get started with the TypeScript series. Before that, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well. I would be really, really happy with that. Now that, assuming that you have hit that subscribe icon, come on guys, 70% of you haven't hit that. Okay, I assume that you have hit that. Now let's go ahead and walk through with the objects. Now again, I won't be consuming too much of the videos, like I won't be releasing 14 or 15 videos on just objects on TypeScript. We'll walk through with the most important part of it, enough that you can get started with that. So there will be a couple of videos on object. Let's go ahead and get started with this one and I'll walk you through how objects are there and what are the places where it can misbehave a little bit and your code might actually get compromised with that. So let's go ahead and walk you through with that. So how does the object works? Now objects are really simple. We use them all the time in JavaScript as well. So maybe you want to make an entry in the database, you collect all the values in the object format, then you pass on this object to uh, maybe a backend controller, it modifies all the things and adds an entry in the database. That is the most common use case scenario. For example, let's just say I want to create a simple user. So this is how go ahead and create an object of a user and I'll just add more values to it. So for example, if I go ahead and say, hey, this is the name. So whenever I'm adding a value or a user to my database, I'll say, hey, this is a name. Then we got an email. So let's just say hitesh at lcr.dev, another email. And I'll also say that if this is active or not. So I'll say if this is an active account or not, uh, means people are regularly using it. So this is a basic object. And yes, TypeScript syntax is exactly same. And that is where you'll be using it most. But this is not the use case of the object. Designing an object like this doesn't really make sense and you won't be using it too much. The use case of the object is through the functions. You have to actually pass on these objects into a function or you have to return some objects through the function. That is the most common use case that we use while developing any application. So let me walk you through with how these are done. So for example, uh, let's just say we are creating a method which says create user. And this is a simple method. Now, since this is a... Uh, forgot the keyword, so function. So this is a very basic method that we have. Now this method expects that you will be passing me some of the user. Uh, so the very first syntax is you pass me an object and I'll define that uh, at least give me a name and that name is going to be a type of string and give me another one, which is, let's just say is active or is Google auth, or what should I do? Is paid, is paid. Okay, let's let's go with that and that will be a boolean. So this is the very basics of it that we have got. Let me just go ahead and move this up, there we go. So this is the most basics of that we have. Now, well, whatever we return the value, we'll discuss on that. You can return an object, obviously, that is the most basic part and the obvious part of it. Now, what it allows us when you have a definition like this, uh, then the method becomes a tiny bit more secure. So for example, when I say, hey, I want to create a user, I want to use that. Uh, TypeScript actually stops me for doing that and looks like it is not stopping me. Probably my uh, system is a little slow. So let's just go ahead and say TSC and I'll say my objects. Let's go ahead and run that. And there we go. We saw an error that create user cannot be used like this. So let me just go ahead and try that. Hey, why are not? Let's try go back up here and come here. No, no error threads, but you get the idea that this is actually stopping me from doing all these things. And how can I actually get rid of this by passing on an object? Ah, by the way, why this is stopping me to doing so? Because probably I forgot to export. So actually we can, we always have to do, we'll come back onto this part that why we are actually doing this because this exporting of the objects is really helpful in this case as well. I will definitely have those values. So please cancel that. And we'll be exporting that. Probably this will start giving me the errors. Ah, there we go, we got the errors. I'll definitely discuss this part as well as we move into the React part or maybe Angular part of it that how this actually works will surely take care of that. Now right now the important part is that when we say create user it stops me from doing this. So there we go. We can go ahead and use an object. Uh, now it's complaining me that hey the object that you have defined that is exactly the same which is I'm expecting from this method to give me but the syntax or the following must have variables are missing or properties. So in this case, I have to say name and the name is going to be, let's just say I'm creating a user with the name Hitesh. 
that is fine but still I'm missing one which is is paid so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say is paid and we'll be saying this is a free user on the platform so this is a pretty obvious behavior that we have and this is now probably trying to have my code in a much better way so this is the most basic of it and you can actually add a lot more things on top of this uh, maybe you also want to define and one of the syntax which actually makes people a lot confusing is what happens when a function actually returns an object so that is the most confusing of all so let's just say you are not creating a user you are creating a course in this time so let's just call this as create course now this is obviously a function so let's go ahead and say function and this is an object now this is a return type and uh, there we go and this is actually a definition there we go now this is a bit of a weird syntax we forgot a colon there now what this is saying is that hey uh, this is a function name this is a function parameter where you pass on this is a return type and this is a definition so yes uh, there is a lot there is a lot confusing up here the reason why it's complaining is simply because you have promised that you will return an object and you are not returning anything so obviously you have to go ahead and return this one this one is happy now but in case you have a special syntax that I should be returning some things like this. So you can actually go ahead and make it like this. So any course that you are having is going to have a name and the course should have a price. Again, fictitious scenario and this should be a number. Now, obviously this will complain. This is a better definition of function in case you are having that, hey, this should return me obviously always and always an object which should have these two properties. So whenever I'm going ahead and returning anything from the function, it promotes a good practice and less error that hey you should be returning the name for example this course name is react.js and the price is going to be let's just say uh, $3.99 something like that whatever the price is so this is the basics of it and now you know the syntax and the weirdness this is the only thing which I have seen a lot of people get confused about that what happens when an object returns an object yes I do agree this is a little bit of a weird syntax because we have parentheses then colon and then this is an object and the definition and it gets a little bit more confusing when you have the object in this format uh, because it's returning these things and then so these kinds of definition makes people a little bit confusing now what is the odd behavior regarding the objects which comes up in the typescript okay that is that is something really bad okay let me show you where the bad syntax actually comes up so notice this that this is a name and this is a it is paid so my function is saying that hey whenever you create a user you give me a name and is paid uh, that is obvious but let's just say while creating a user I also want that email should also be there so I can just go ahead and say hey let's give it an email and the email is going to be uh, h at the rate h.com something like that now this is not acceptable and there's a long big thread on the stack overflow by the way on this behavior so obviously this is not allowed because in the definition we have strictly mentioned that this should be there yes there are ways I'll walk you through in the upcoming videos there are ways how we can actually make this email as optional if you pass them that's good if you don't pass it that's also fine but what is the odd behavior is that this is an object so I can just cut this out obviously this is complaining so let's just say I go ahead and say hey let a uh, new user we create a variable and we simply assign that as an object obviously we do this a lot of time in the JavaScript as well that whatever and from wherever we collect the information like payment information comes from a different model or controller or maybe uh, Google authentication also gives us some information so all these information are combined an object is being created and whenever we call these kinds of methods we just pass on this value here so for example a new user is being passed on and you might have noticed this time I was able to pass on much more information than what is expected in the function definition previously it was giving me error but now this is all okay so yes not all weirdness of javascript is gone uh, but there is a better way of defining the functions and the methods uh, we'll learn about that when we'll walk through with the interface and all of that that are the beautiful most beautiful part of the typescript we'll walk through with that so i hope that now you know some of the weird behavior of this one uh, this is a common method in case you have watched my mern course or any other backend development we have done this many many times this is still not stopping me to do any bad behavior. So that is wrong of TypeScript. It should stop me. But I'll walk you through with the optionals that there are better ways of handling situations like this. But I think that's going to come up in the next video. So in the meantime, hit that subscribe and I'll catch you up in the next video.